You may not like these, but when I first started using Midjourney, I was creating these ink dripping drawings. I love that flat, kind of gothic-y look that it had to them. But when I start using the new version of Midjourney, version four, I get this, which is pretty cool, but not quite what I was after. And uh, I wanted to sort of share a tip with you, try and get those results you used to get, but with the new algorithm. So head to Midjourney and type in your prompt. So cyborg bull skull ink dripping drawing. This is what I was looking at before, but I'm gonna go dash dash V space three for the algorithm that I like. You can choose what another algorithm, like two or one, whatever. I'm gonna use V3. Next, we wanna type in slash settings. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have remix mode turned on. If it's not green, simply click it to turn it on. Now I've got my result. Number two is the one that I like, but I still want it to be a little bit more it's something a little bit cleaner and a little more cohesive like in version 4. So I'm going to click Variations 2 because now I have Remix Mode turned on. And now I change version 3 to version 4 and Submit. And now you can see I've got that same look. I can upscale these. So 1 and 4, even maybe number 3. And I get these cool results that are more like version 3 algorithm but rendered with version 4. So that is a powerful tip to take more control over mid journeys actually by sort of combining algorithms and getting uh, more control over your result because some algorithms produce different styles of images to the newer algorithms, but just not as well. So that's one way just to feed it the right information and get something a little more unique. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video and uh, hope to see you again later. Have a great day.